being able to change the priority of a game in Windows should be allowed. But some games block this. So you must already know but you can go into Task Manager and you can change the priority of a game or a program. But some games unfortunately block this and give you an access denied error. So for example I've got Task Manager open at the moment and I've got Call of Duty running. If I right click on Call of Duty and go to set priority and if I try changing it to high and then go change I get an access is denied the operation could not be completed. So this is a load of rubbish. I want to be able to change that priority. So that's exactly what I will be showing you how to do in this video. I will be showing you two ways of how you can get around this and change the priority of any game that's blocking it to high priority. But I will warn you now, if a game is blocking this then it might be due to the anti-cheat system that it's using. So by doing this workaround could lead to your account being banned and you won't be able to play the game online anymore. So I've warned you and if that happens then that's down to you. So let's now move on to how you can get around this if you do want to proceed. So there's two ways like I said and the first way that I'm going to show you is using a program that I created called Easy Gamer Utility. So this is what the program looks like. You do need to have the pro version be to be able to do this which is currently on offer for $2.99. But it does definitely save you a massive headache and saves you time and not having to go into the registry and make a load of changes to be able to force a game to run in high priority. So let me just quickly show you the program. If you do want to skip this and you're not interested in purchasing EGU then fast forward the video. I will put a skip link in the description below actually as well. So all you need to do is simply go across to launch. So once you're on the launch tab all you need to do then is scroll all the way down and you will see an option that says force game high priority. So we now need to click on browse and you now need to find the game that you want to force to run in high priority. So I'm actually going to use Call of Duty as the example because you've just seen that I cannot change the priority and if I actually open up Task Manager again quickly and go to Call of Duty when it loads, let's just go like that, there we go and if I go on to expand and then go to details. So you can see here if I right click or on the right it says normal. So let me just minimize that for a second and go to my Call of Duty folder. So what I'm now going to do is find the cod.exe and go open. So that's now there. I can then click on force priority but first I need to agree to the terms. Like I said at the start of the video your account could get banned by doing this. So let's go force priority. So that has now been forced. So if I close down Call of Duty, which I should have had closed down before doing this anyway, but now I'm closing down the game, I'm now going to go ahead and open up Call of Duty again and you will now see that it's going to be running in high priority. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alrighty, so Call of Duty has now launched and you can see there COD.exe is now running in high priority. So you can see that Easy Game Utility has done the job and it's worked absolutely fine. I forgot to mention at the start though, you do need to run this as an administrator, so Easy Gamer as an administrator, to be able to add it to the high priority. So another good thing about this as well, you can then select the game if you no longer want it to run in high priority and then go remove. So then the next time that you launch it, it will no longer be running in that high priority. Okay, so for method two to do this in the registry, all you need to do is open up the start menu and you now need to type in reg edit and you then need to select registry editor. So the next thing that you need to do is either type this in, so I'm just going to zoom that in for a second into the top trash bar or click on the link that's in the description below to go to our website where you can copy and then paste this in. You then need to go to location and you now need to right click on the image file execution options and go new and then we're going to select key. So this now needs to be the name of the process that you're trying to run in high priority. So I want to run Call of Duty in high priority so I'm going to do cod.exe. So cod.exe and then press enter because that's the name of the .exe that runs Call of Duty. So it's the one that's running when I'm playing the game. So the next thing that I need to do is simply right click on this and then go new and then key and then type P and then ERF and then options. You then need to press enter and you then need to go into this folder 
and we now need to right click in an empty space and then go new and then dword 32 bit value. So you now need to do a C and then PU lowercase and then priority with a capital P and we then need to do class with a capital C and then SS and then enter. So we now need to change the value of this to free. So you can see there we've got value data, put free in and then click OK. So now when I run Call of Duty, it will permanently be using the high priority. So like I said earlier on, this could cause issues with your account, so you're doing this at your own risk, but that's how you can permanently run Call of Duty or any other process in high priority. If you do want to remove it, then simply go back to this location, find the key, so cod.exe for example there, right click on it and then go delete and then go yes and it will no longer run in high priority. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. As you can see, it's a lot easier using easy game utility, but I'm gonna say that because I created the program. So if you did like this video, click the like button below, and if you wanna see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.